Welcome back, everybody, to Loving Living Local. Well, the Salvation Army of El Paso County helps those in need right here in Colorado Springs in a number of ways. And there are also our three degree guarantee recipients presented by Wirenut Home Services. And joining me this morning with more is PR and Marketing Director Brett Marie Harrison and owner of Wirenut Home Services, Trent Urban. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm going to start with you, Brett. How is the Salvation Army in El Paso County? County during doing I'm sorry during times of COVID-19. It has been so difficult. Um, we are running in sand is what I like to say but um, you know but we are so blessed by this community. So we have had to create so many different programs to help the community um, and that was welcomed but they were unexpected expenses. Um, so we started a Red Shield remote learning program. We started doing rental assistance which we had mm -hmm. never done before. Um, we mobile feeding food deliveries and so we had to get creative to make sure that we were meeting the need um, and taking care of our community so it was just it was very different um, and difficult we were busy um, but like I said it was welcomed absolutely and of course the Salvation Army super known organization does incredible work let's talk about some programs that were new to you during the pandemic that you had to kind of bring in when all of this started happening and that you are now rebuilding back from yeah, so like I mentioned, um, there was a lot of expenses that were not budgeted um, and that were brand new to us. So rental assistance was the biggest one. Um, we have never done that here in Colorado Springs, so um, we just didn't have the funding for it. And so during COVID, we just said, you know what, we're going to have to do this. Um, and we helped over 160 families, over $100,000 um, with rental assistance. So that was one. And like I said, the Red Shield Remote Learning Program, um, we understood that um, after, you know, kids were going back to school online and parents had to work. So we started a remote learning center for mm -hmm. the kids. That was another unexpected expense. Um, and mobile feedings and food deliveries. We we're uh, delivering food and groceries to seniors and those without transportation during COVID as well. I'm sure that was an incredible resource. Now I want to ask you quickly about your next mission here. It's Operation Rescue Christmas. Tell me what that's about. Yeah, so um, we realized that the need is going to be much, much, much greater this year. Um, it's going to be very difficult for families to provide any sort of Christmas. Um, and we get a huge response every single year, but this year we know that the need is going to increase. So um, Salvation Army on a national level has started this campaign, Rescue Christmas, and it's really trying to increase donations. You know, we are um, in a national coin shortage. There's going to be less red kettles out there, and people are going to be scared to bell ring and mm -hmm. to put money in kettles. Um, because of because of COVID. So it's going to be a huge shift and, and um, there's a lot of people in fear right now. It really is. And of course, I want everybody to know that you can always donate online or send a check to the Salvation Army. And right now I want to direct to Trent because he is here to present a check. And Trent, why did you choose the Salvation Army? Uh, I'll save the long story because I don't think we have time for it, but uh -huh. <laughs> actually Brett and I were just talking about this uh, before coming on here and it's kind of interesting. They had submitted a few times and in all reality, I just and my team, we didn't know enough about Salvation Army to ever pick them. Um, after we got, uh, that's where the long story is, but after we got uh, word of what exactly they do, it's pretty profound. Um, one quick little thing, uh, Brett was sharing, what was it, 86% of all the money? Mm -hmm. Goes to the actual cause. So it's mm -hmm. not tied up in overhead or administrative or anything. Um, it's not people taking home big salaries, any of that kind of <laughs> thing going on. Yeah. And uh, the, the extent of what they do, there is a lot there. Uh, from the homeless help to the VA, uh, you know, working with VA for housing. And that's also another big one for us. You know, if you're going to sure. take care of the veterans, the very ones that you know, gave so much and now are falling on hardship, then, you know, this for me is an awesome cause. Yeah. And, um, and then she also, here's one little thing I think I should speak for on Salvation Army. They're pretty much like little separate uh, units. They're not one big corporate entity. So they're managed by each location and they're doing their own fundraising by location. And so they've really got to work for this. And what you said about Christmas, those kind of things mm -hmm. and just the hardships, absolutely. This is one crazy year. 
Well, yes. you definitely picked the right organization. All right, let's get the check and let's do this check Here presentation because I'm sure it's going to do a lot of good from Wire Nut, right. all of us at Fox 21, to the Salvation Army this morning. And of course, if you would like more information or you would like to donate, TSACS.org to do so. This segment has been sponsored by the great team over at Wire Nut Home Services. All right.